This is the Krillcast. I am Chris. And I am Will. Why did you talk like this? Because it was a throwback <laughs> to the OGs. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, it was the original episodes. All right, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, this week we got Wild Search Gaming coming on for the beginning of Tuesday, all of Wednesday, and uh, you know he's kind of turning into the Terminator on Wednesday. He's also here on Friday. Um, mm-hmm. So definitely go check out those segments as they come out this week. Very mm-hmm. excited to have him on. Yes, uh, definitely. So go subscribe really to his cool channel. Guy. A very cool guy. Very down to earth. Very awesome to talk to. Um, let's see here. But today is what will? Today is a manic Monday. And what is going on on manic Monday today? So generally, we cover some quick topics, and then we'll we'll have a main topic. But because it's kind of quiet in the gaming uh, news right now, as far as you know, the day that we're filming this. Uh, we just have a couple of quick topics, and then I can throw in one wild card one that Chris doesn't know about, but is not super exciting. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, let's see here. So, uh oh. There's already a Cyberpunk 27. Oh no. God. <laughs> I'm what? not going to even say what that says. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> okay, so Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out this week. Uh, yep. And because of that, we're going to say, hey, uh, definitely you're all beautiful <laughs> <laughs> uh, i want to get a game just because of keanu reeves i'm so excited <laughs> every time i read about keanu reeves the guy's such a nice guy like i, I wouldn't yeah. say he's like the greatest actor of all time but he's a super nice guy and very down to earth shut up chris <laughs> shut up <laughs> oh i guess will thinks he owes uh keanu reeves all the emmys so <laughs> <laughs> yes all right. Uh, Is that one? I feel like he should have gotten. He's done some good roles in the. In the uh, I think past. so. If it, let me put it this way, since Will did not read Hardwired yet. Yes, I have. Did you? Chris. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a topic to discuss then. I've heard that Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven follows the book Hardwired far closer than anybody expected. Hmm. Like, like if you look at some of the we'll uh, artwork and some of the um, various parts of what they've shown. There are so many direct connections to the hardware book, including the first like one third to two thirds of the story. Mm. Well, I mean that makes sense because it based the Witcher games off the books, and they're very close to those Witcher books. Like it's very similar story beats. So I mean that would make sense that they're doing that with hardware. Yeah. So I, I read I read some information because my buddy um, shout out to Ryan. I'm not going to give a last name out, but shout out to Ryan. Um, he was telling me about like literally telling me the plot of 2077 like months ago. And, okay, I need YouTube. I was trying to pull up footage here, and I messed up. Um, I was, he was telling me the plot, and I was like, holy cow, that's literally hardwired. He's like, yeah, that's like the first like half of the game. I'm like, whoa, I'm super excited about this now. Because the whole plot of hardwired is so intriguing and interesting, but it's kind of self-contained and short compared to some of the other books that explore similar topics. So mm-hmm. this game visually representing that would be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very unique uh, in a crowded genre. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, here we go, a new gameplay trailer. There you go, intense violence, nudity, strong language. Whoa! Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But if well, you I look mean, at it's the CG product red, right? that's how their games are. If you look at like the the guy's back and you see all of the injection points on his his metal spine, I'm like, whoa! This looks a lot like the game. I like the book. Yeah. I think you can adjust your fingernails in this game. By the way, like that's the level of customization that you have. Which is just insane to me. <laughs> it's like, but if you look at the back, like all the way up through the head, they got the sprockets and everything, or whatever they're called, the um, plugins you want to call them. Yeah, like in the Matrix. So, quick question: If society advances to this point where you can like, you can do these things to yourself, would you do it, or would no. you want to stay like normal human? <laughs> so here's the thing: um, anytime you put a electronic device in your body, that electronic device can function separate from yourself and to me that is terrifying yeah say there's no potential for hacking because i know that's where you're going with that so say it's just like an augment and it's not like hooked up to the internet or anything like that i'm writing a book about this exact thing so i'm not going to spoil my opinion (laughs) okay but i i I, it's still terrifying to me i I don't want to be more machine than human i would be more human than machine yeah i get it I'm not plugging into the Matrix. Yeah, I wouldn't want anything in my brains, but I mean, if I could get like super strength or like have a jetpack come out of my back, that'd be pretty cool. I would have exterior mech suits, but I would not want anything directly yeah, okay. plugged into my body. I get that. I get that. So if it could, if it could uh, have like a a, if it could pick up on my brain waves outside of external to my body, 
fine. Mm-hmm. But if it has a neural link injected into my brain, no thanks. No thanks. Okay, that makes sense. That's where I'm like a like a liquid metal mech suit. That would be cool. But I'll live vicariously through the Cyberpunk 2077 world and see what I think. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna play as a male, female, or neither? I'm gonna be an orc. Well, I don't know if you'd be an orc. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be a robot. I'm gonna be the uh, the um, elusive man from Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. Be Martin Sheen. I think, I think it's, it's cool how the the level of customization and options that they're giving players in this. Like this is a, like you can it can get overwhelming sometimes, but I like RPGs where you can play it the way you want to. You know, within the obviously within the the frame of the story and the gameplay, but within that you can play the way you want. I will say this: the the Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. We said this in the actually in the very beginning of this year. We said this was game of the year, but then it got delayed three times. <laughs> And Last of Us Part 2 won it, so, you know, if this game hadn't been delayed, it probably would have won it, but going back to the more important point, this game, to me, is still my game of the year, and once I get to play it, I'll either confirm or deny that claim, so I think yeah, Will and I I'll will be doing, yeah. Will and I will be doing a our, our own game awards show at the end of the year, where we like name this. our game of the year and all that stuff, but I think yeah. this is probably going to be name, it. like the one new game I have actually played because I'm still trying to get through my backlog. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a toss up between this one and persona five Royal. So we'll see okay. Or thir- 13 Sentinels. I'm probably getting that, but I might not get it in time to judge it. We'll see. Pod it'll... racer. That was a good port, but also an old game. Um, yes, but it came out this year. So it, it did. It did. It did kind of counts. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see here. So you want to move on to part two, or do you want to keep talking yes. about Cyberpunk? Yeah, okay. part two. Part two. Phil Spencer talking about Halo not coming out for the Xbox Series X until there are enough Xboxes around. Yeah, so, I, okay, I brought this up when, uh, I guess they will have already seen the episodes that we did with Installation 00, Hidden Experience, and Zane Helios. Um, I had said that this might be a conspiracy where they delayed Halo specifically because there weren't enough Xboxes. And I don't think so. Phil Spencer sort of confirmed that, though, because he's like, I'm, we're not going to release Halo until there's more Xboxes for people. Mm, I don't know. I this, If it was but ready if to go... If you think about it for a second, though, it does kind of make sense, because why would you release this amazing IP, or like potentially amazing IP, and people really can't get it? <laughs> to sell Game Pass? Yeah, I know, but... You would it would ravage the potential for the Series X, so everyone only buy it on the Xbox One or PC because there are no Series Xs. This is so kind of ravage the potential for that new system. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I will. I, I doubt it, you. but I do think that probably was factored in. I'm sure they thought about it. I think they probably said, "Hey, we don't have a lot of supply. We already have all these all this criticism." from the demo we showed mm-hmm. there's a lot of things we still need to do does it even make sense to launch this in the state that it's in it's probably what happened yeah i doubt that that was the biggest factor but it was probably a factor i'll give you that probably will's getting in trouble that's why he's looking off screen like oh no i am good <laughs> <laughs> so here's the next question does halo 5 become part of halo infinite no, i'm just kidding that's not a thing. <laughs> yes, Halo Infinite is such a large game that that's actually just one game mode. <laughs> Halo 5, the fixed story. Halo 5 Deluxe. Exactly. No. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think this game's going to be out before holiday 2021? I really hope so. <laughs> if if not, I'm, I'm going to be really sad if they delay it another year. I heard uh, uh, Microsoft said they'll probably have a big shipment of Series X's by middle of next year. Yeah, so I mean, if they're trying to line up with that, which I think they they might be, um, I would I hope that this game comes out by the spring. Is what I'm gonna say to that. Like, already, we're already seeing the Halo YouTubers are jumping ship and covering other topics. SCP. So it's yeah, it's only a matter of time that the hype for this game dies. So yeah, they're not going to video game it. awards, but they are going to apparently drop some kind of a yes. reveal in December. So. Mm-hmm. hopefully it'll be an interesting reveal that we can all look forward to hundreds of 10 minute clips from all the halo youtubers yes 
especially somebody doing an in-depth analysis of the trailer like we did with uh, Believe and it. I actually watched that. It was pretty good. Installation Zero Zero's uh, yeah. in-depth analysis of Believe. That was pretty good. I will watch all of their analyses of another trailer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when Skyrion dropped his Fable analysis trailer. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, let's see here. So probably the biggest part of this video that we're putting out today is scalping sucks. Let's go to eBay. That's basically all we need to say about that. Let's go to eBay. Let's see what a it's PS5 just, is going to cost me. Yeah, well, there's been some people who actually realized that so many scalpers have, like, thousands of these systems. And it's just, it's depressing that they're able to cheat the system in such a way where they're buying so many at once. And then, you know, other people aren't getting any. And then they are selling them for twice, three times as much. One and some million people are dollars. Buying. Yeah, and then some people were buy that. It's like it was ridiculous. No one's gonna pay the one million dollar one, but um, <laughs> like people are paying like thirty thousand, twenty eight thousand, twenty five thousand. Man, I'm in the wrong market. I should be a scalper. I know. <laughs> Figure it out, Chris. This is ridiculous. Who in the world? Oh, supports charity for animals. Of course, I'll pay twenty grand for this PS Five. Yeah, that's such crap. What's the cheapest one? Is it the fake PS5 from... Uh, oh, no, no, because the, the marketplace is probably down for counterfeit stuff at this point because mm -hmm. of the virus sweeping the nation. $96. Two days and 16 hours left. Let me hop on that one. Oh, box only. Box yeah. only. Are you kidding me? What? Somebody's going to put cat food in that box and resell it. Yeah, well, it's probably because they, they just want to show that they have it. So yeah. it's worth paying a hundred dollars for it. Put it in the back of my uh, my YouTube display. Mm hmm I got a PS5, but you'll never see it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the the uh, I don't know. Scalping sucks. Yeah, um, just wait for it. I mean, there's no must-have game right now. Yeah, but you want to be. You don't want. You know, fear of missing out. FOMO. Fear of missing out, man. Mm. Again, though, I'm trying to say, like, what are you missing out on? <laughs> Everyone, like, the reason you get the PS5 is for the new God of War game, the new, like, um, Horizon Zero Dawn game. But they're not out yet, so you can wait. <laughs> right, 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 right. 15000 Well, it's not a million. Yeah. Highest price one. All right, anything else you want to say about scalping? Um, no, just it seems it's much worse this year because a lot of the sales were online only because they didn't want people in the stores, and that just fueled into the scalpers, you know, plan. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And then that on top of the, that of the fact that there weren't that many systems to begin with, really screwed everything up. 100%. And you think in 2020 they would have algorithms or you know bots that are watching the sales that would know when scalpers are buying them up. It should just put an early release um, pre-order on existing consoles. And then you could go on your Xbox One a day or two early and get your pre-order. Or yeah. the PS4 and get your pre-order. That way, people existing, the existing user base has the first slap at it. And then new users next. Boom. Done. All right. As always, I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And we will see you on next Coolcast. Bye, guys.